are very, very excited because I have my dad on my channel, guys. This is very exciting. So guys, by the title of this video, I'll be teaching my dad what is Forex and how to start Forex trading. So guys, if you're interested, continue watching. Before we get into the video, I will allow my dad to introduce himself so that we can start the video right away. So dad, introduce yourself. <laughs> Thank you very much, Esther. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited. My name is James. Mm -hmm. And I've been, this, I've been desiring so much to learn about Forex. Yes. That's why I'm here. Mm -hmm. And I would like to, uh, to welcome you mm -hmm. to come and learn with me. Okay. Welcome once more. Okay, guys. So uh, many people have been asking uh, uh, have been asking me, how is my mentorship program? What it entails? How do I do it? And then I say, why not bring my dad? And you see the way we converse when you sign up on my mentorship program. And guys, those people who call me and say, oh, I'm above 50 years, can I learn Forex? My dad is above 50 years and he's ready, guys, to learn Forex trading. So if you're watching me and maybe your mom is interested, maybe your dad is interested, and maybe you are the one who is interested in your above 50, I'm here to tell you Forex trading is for everyone. And if you join my mentorship, the way I'm teaching my dad is the way I'll be teaching you step by step, making Forex easy for you guys to be able to understand. So if you're interested, you can join my mentorship program. I always say that I charge 400 USD, that is 40,000. And if you just sign up or join today, we can have such conversation like we are, we'll be having with my dad. This is just a tip. This is just um, one of the lessons that I like taking my students and I'll show you how it is very, very, um, it is very, very interactive with my dad here. So guys, if you're interested, you can join my mentorship and let's begin, let's begin. So what is Forex? What is Forex to you? Oh, I can define Forex uh -huh. as the buying and the selling mm -hmm. of the foreign currency. So my dad has has a very good explanation when it comes to Forex. I think many people when they hear Forex, it's just straightforward, is exchange of different currency. And you have mentioned currency. The minute you explain something or you define something and you explain with another word, know that word has a very, very weight weight meaning. So you have said currency. So we exchange, here Forex is, we exchanging one currency to another currency, right? right? So if you have said currency, already I want to ask you, I'm very, very eager to ask you, do you know we have seven major currencies that we trade? I know that we have seven major currencies. So if you know you have seven major currencies, can you mention at least five? Oh, let me start with the most uh, popular one, that uh -huh. is the US dollar. Yeah, USD is popular, yes, I yes. agree. <laughs> and uh -huh. next, let us go to the euro. Mm -hmm. And then from the euro, mm -hmm. uh, I can mention the Canadian dollar. Uh -huh. Then from the Canadian dollar, there is the Japanese yen. Mm -hmm. And then from the, there, we go to Australian dollar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those so, are five. So there are five. Yes. So which one have you not mentioned? GBP? Have you said GBP? Oh, I have not mentioned GBP. Mm -hmm. And uh, which one? CHF? Swiss franc? And, 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 yeah, I have not mentioned that other one. So do you know what GBP stands for? Uh, yeah, that one stands for Great Britain Pound. Yes, and CHF? Um, Swiss uh, franc. Swiss franc. So yes. my dad knows seven currencies. So the, the time you want to start forex trading, first of all, you need to know the seven major currency. And then another thing that many beginners tend to miss when it comes to forex trading. Do you know that there is the base and there is the quote? Do you know that? I'm learning now. You are learning. Yes. So in every currency, we have a base and the quote. Before we go even to the base and the quote, you cannot trade one currency by itself. Like you can't say, I'm trading GBP. I'm trading Euro. You have to trade in a pair. So we don't trade one currency. Right now, I can't say, I can't say I'm trading Euro. I'm trading USD. I have to say I'm trading in a pair. So like GBP, USD. USD JPY, like that. Yes. So um, you can't say that you're trading 
one currency. You will always trade two currencies. Yeah, yeah. So if you don't, if you didn't know even new viewers, now you know we trade in two currencies. And now we can't say I'm trading two currencies. I'll say I'm trading a pair. So I'm giving you even terminologies. I'm trading a pair. And that is the first time that I've heard about that. <laughs> so, <laughs> so if I ask you, Dad, hey, mm -hmm. what are you trading today? I'm trading this pair. Don't say I'm trading this currency and this currency. No, you just say I'm trading this pair. I'm trading GBP USD. So when you know now you're trading a pair, the next thing, there's a base and there's a quote. The first currency that you're mentioning, which is GBP, is the base. The second currency that you're mentioning is the quote. So are, are you understanding that? Yeah, I'm understanding. So give me an example. So what are you trading today? I'm calling you. What are you trading today? Uh, I'm trading USD uh -huh. GBP. No. Mm. Okay. First of all, I have mm. not taught you that. Okay. It's a good example. Mm. But do you know the base has more value? Yes. I so that. correct your answer. So what are you trading today? I'm trading uh, US dollar. Versus? Versus Canadian dollar. USD card. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. So you need to understand that, that a currency has a base and has a quote. Sure. And another thing, the base mm -hmm. is the base has more value than the quote. Yeah. So when you say USD GBP, you'll be lying. Mm -hmm. Like not even lying because you don't know. Mm -hmm. You won't you can't say USD GBP because GBP pound has more value than USD. So I'll give you a trick. This is a trick that I give my students. Mm -hmm. JPY as the major currency is the one that has the less value. So you can pair all this currency with JPY. Example, USD JPY. So give me an example with a JPY. Then you can take um, Canadian dollar mm -hmm. versus JPY. JPY yes. yes. Now you're understanding because JPY, remember, JPY has less value. less value. As a major currency, it is the one that is the most, that has the less value. Like any other pair, you can trade it versus JPY. So USD JPY. Euro, JPY, GBP, JPY. So another thing, after you have known base quote, now you need to know what is a PIP. Yes. Because PIP is what pays us as traders. Mm -hmm. So when you hear someone saying, I'm making, I got 100 PIPs, mm -hmm. 50 PIPs, they are, they are saying mm -hmm. they are making money. Money, of course. Yes. Mm -hmm. So PIP is what makes us money. So have you ever heard of PIP? Yes, now I've heard of PIP. Yeah, you have heard now. Yes. So PIP is that calculation mm -hmm. of the quote. Mm -hmm. Remember, we had base and the quote. We go back there. So what you see on your MT4, what you see on your charts is the quote. Because the quote is what is listed. Mm -hmm. And I think we'll do another video when I'm doing practical. Because today is just a theory. It's like an introduction. Yeah. You know, even in my mentorship, you don't see the charts for the first time. And guys, I want to make this video for you to see. Anyone can learn Forex. Anyone can learn Forex. It doesn't matter your age. It doesn't matter uh, you, you are grades in school, you are profession. Anyone can learn Forex. So in today's video, it is about theory. So when you're typing there, you say, oh, we want to see my practice. No, today it's about theory. So I think... Uh, when you start seeing the charts and on your MT4, you will see numbers. There are numbers there. Those numbers are the quotes. Now you are mentioning the, the charts and, and, and MT4. Yes. Also, so, you don't know the charts and the MT4. Yeah, but... So I will tell you, and that's what I'm saying. Today is just introduction. Mm -hmm. So about the quotes uh, and how to know the pips, the, the movement, just know today, today, <laughs> today, yeah, yeah. just know pips is what pays us. So if I say today, if I say that today I got a hundred pips, no, I have money. So, and again, you can have a hundred pips and I can have a hundred pips, but again, we get different amounts. Why? Because of lot size. So today I've mentioned about base and quotes. Mm -hmm. I've mentioned pips Chips, right? and I've mentioned lot size. Lot size. Mm -hmm. So there are three types of lot size. We have standard lots. We have mini lot and you have micro lot so for standard lot you need to have very huge account of course because it's so fast it can make you money and at the same time it can make you lose the same money 
So we have standard lot size that is one. So anytime you say which lot size are you using, you tell me one. I'm like, what? One. You're ready to make money at the same time. You know, it's a double edged sword. And then the mini lot size. The mini lot size is 0 0.1. 0 0.1. And then the micro. The micro is 0 0.01. So the lot size, the capital dictate your lot size. So for instance, let me ask you, just an honest question. If today, after I teach you, how much would you want to start Forex? Like how much would you want to put in your account and start trading? I would put 20,000 Kenya shillings. So that's like $200. So in $200, there is no way you can put a lot size of one. Why? Now this is the example. One pip of lot size of one it is $10. So if the market goes 10 pips, you have lost your account. It's $200. Wow. If it goes just 20 pips, it's, it's 20 times 10. You don't have an account. But if you use a lot of one and you gain in that trade, you have doubled your account. So would you want to be in a situation where it's a matter of lose or gain? Would you want him to be in that situation where you're like, if this trade goes well, I will double my account. If it doesn't, I will lose my account. Where would you want to? Of course, I would like to, to gain. But you can lose at the same time. So you see now the risk management is kicking in. Yes, you. I'm asking, mm -hmm. you have put your amount, mm -hmm. the $200, mm -hmm. and you asked, if you press this trade by yourself, mm -hmm. you can either gain 200 or lose the same, the whole account. Would you choose that option? I would not. Definitely. Yes. And that's what I teach about mm -hmm. risk management. Yes. But at the first time when you hear, oh, I'll double my account. It sounds interesting. Mm -hmm. But if you are told at the same time you can lose it, now you're like, eh, you, you say, hey, maybe let me pass that. But when you come to mini lot size, mm -hmm. when you, one lot, one, the means one peep of mini lot size mm -hmm. is $1. So if you gain 20 pips, mm -hmm. you'll make $20. $20. Mm -hmm. So if at all I tell you, you have 200 account, I tell you, this trade you can get $20 or lose $20. Would you take? Yeah, that one I would take. Yes, yeah, because, yeah. of course, if you lose, you still have $180. And the last lot size, guys, is 0 0.01. So the 0 0.01 is the micro. Micro. Mm -hmm. So that one, if you make twenty dollars, you're just making two dollars. Mm -hmm. So if you have a two hundred account mm -hmm. and you're making two dollars mm -hmm. or losing two dollars, mm -hmm. would you want that one where you're making two dollars? Okay, now that is lit. That is lit. <laughs> so so um, I would go for uh, that uh, mini. So okay, mm -hmm. let me give an, an instance. Mm -hmm. If that is little. Mm -hmm. If two dollars is little, you do ten trades, mm -hmm. you will earn the same twenty dollars. Mm -hmm. But if for the twenty dollars you do ten trades, mm -hmm. you still lose them account. Okay. So you can see it in a time of if I'll just be placing one trade, I may take for the twenty dollars. Mm -hmm. But if I'm an aggressive trader who every time getting it, getting it, getting it, mm -hmm. and every time you're losing twenty dollar, twenty dollar, twenty mm dollar, -hmm. you just need ten trades to lose the whole amount. Okay. But again, you need 10 trades to gain the whole amount because it's a double edged sword. You can gain and you can lose. And with a good mentorship, we are not here to lose. You are here to gain. So let me not uh, focus so much on losing, but losing is part of the game. So about lot size, now you know lot size, you know pips, you know the quote, the base. And now you have even told me the amount you're willing to start trading. So do you know to start trading, you need a broker? I've heard, I have heard of a broker. Who, who, which broker? X, XM. <laughs> XM. Of course. <laughs> so you need a broker, of course. Do you know the work of a broker? You a yes, broker? you need a broker, but do you know the, what, what is the work of a broker? You like, a, you see, me, I would... Okay, I would say that a broker can see where you cannot be able to see uh -huh. and he can <laughs> uh, advise appropriately. So what is really the work of the broker? The work of the broker is like the middleman. Yes. He's the one who connects you to the market. So at the end of the day, I cannot, you cannot like go to the market makers and trade by yourself. You need the broker. Mm -hmm. So you see the broker 
plays a very key role. You see that? Yes, so, and you have it. told me you know XM. Yes. And because XM is the best, of mm. course, XM is the best broker. That's what we use. Mm. So, if right now you want to start trading, you start need, you first need an XM account. And in this case, would you want a demo or a live? Of course, I would like to start with a demo. You want a demo account? Yes. A demo account, it gives you confidence first to place the trades, first to do all those things. And then don't stay on demo for like a week. A demo, you need like two, three days to okay. get familiar with everything. And then you have a side or a live account. Or what do you think? <laughs> you want demo for how many months? <laughs> and not, of, not for months. Uh -huh. It's a business. And you see, in business, you uh -huh. need to, to get money. Okay. So, so you need for how long the demo? Maybe four to five days. Yes. Me, for mm. me, Bede, how I tell my students, when we start the mentorship immediately, if you mm. don't, if you, you are green, you don't know anything, we will open a demo with you. Mm. So we can open a demo account with you. And then now, the demo account is for you to know how to place the trades. Okay know how to, to put your take profit mm -hmm. and stop loss. That one I've not taught you, but maybe later on in another video. So the demo will help you do all those things. And then now when you start analyzing the charts and maybe you are familiar, now you can go to the live the account. Live account. You see? Course, yes. So if you today you open uh, an account, you have to. No harm even having an live account because you are preparing so you, you can have a demo mm -hmm. and also you can have a live. At the same time? Yes, you can open both. Oh, so a live, mm -hmm. you'll be doing verification because it takes time. Mm -hmm. You'll be doing verification as you are preparing on your demo, as mm -hmm. you are practicing on your demo. So the live, you, you just verify, mm -hmm. you find it is ready. Mm -hmm. Now waiting for you to be confident enough to use the live yeah, account. account. So you need the demo. And again, you need analyzing website. Or where do you think, how do you think uh, you will be knowing if it is to sell GBPSD or to buy? Because you told me it's selling and buying. Mm -hmm. So where do you know that now I need to buy, now I need to sell? You need analyzing website. Mm -hmm. So analyzing website, for me, I use trading view. So even you, you will need trading view. And trading view, there is, a, there is, there is even an app. So you'll be needing trading view. Mm -hmm. And these are not hard. These are not hard. Mm -hmm. So the first thing you will open trading view, mm -hmm. you will create your account mm -hmm. where you'll be saving everything that you analyze. Okay. You see? So it's that easy. So you need the broker mm -hmm. and then you need the uh, the website to review the market. You need to analyze the market. Mm -hmm. So when you open your chart, that's where now we enter practical. Because practical, we cannot, like, I cannot teach you practical. Yeah. I need to tell you these are the charts. Mm -hmm. This is what it is. And uh, tell me one thing you know about the charts. You, you have seen me trading. You have seen my videos. Mm -hmm. what, what stands out in the chart, like you can say? Sometimes you, you see these things going up. What things going up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the lines and... Those funny, funny things. The lies. Which lies? You see, because I'm, I'm learning, uh, you can uh, allow me to call Oh, the lies. Yo, you, you, for you, it's the lies going down. Yes, going up at times, mm -hmm. going down, mm -hmm. or, and having different colors. Mm -hmm. so, at least you have an idea. At least you have mm -hmm. an idea. I think when mm -hmm. we'll be doing practicals, mm -hmm. you'll, be very, you'll be a very, very good student. Thank you very much. <laughs> because you have an idea. So they are not called lines. They are called candles. For me, I trade with candles. There are people who trade with other things. Mm -hmm. But for me, my chart is candles. And the candles have two colors. Mm -hmm. For me, I've picked the default one. The default one is black. Eh? Ah, it's red and green. Okay. So green stands for market going up. Mm -hmm. Red stands for market going down. down. Mm -hmm. So when do we buy? With a green candle or with a red candle? Now you'll tell me. You can guess. When do you buy? You buy when it is going down. Is it? Can you say that? You buy when it's going down. Because now when... You buy when it's going down. Okay. Yeah. When were we buying? 
when are we buying and when are we selling? You see, when the, the value, maybe, let, let me just think, eh? mm. and maybe, <laughs> when the value mm -hmm. of the, the money or mm. that uh, currency, currency mm -hmm. is low. Mm -hmm. Because now, when it is low, mm -hmm. so that when it goes up, mm -hmm. uh, you, you have made a profit. Then so then that is when we say we buy at low and sell at the highest. So when you mm -hmm. buy, the market starts coming up. Mm -hmm. So when you see the green candles, mm -hmm. of course, that's a buy market. Mm -hmm. When you see candles, the red candles coming down, mm -hmm. that's a sell market. So I think you have an idea I, I, and you'll be I, a good trader. Thank you Imagine my dad mm -hmm. having... Like a, a live account, giving me signals. Eh? It can be so interesting. So guys, I don't want this video to be so long. If you have enjoyed me teaching my dad how to do Forex, this was the theory. If you are interested, if this video is interesting, I can show you on uh, a, another separate video. Now practical. Prat practical means showing him how charts look like. You can see he's saying it's lines. Everyone is always in that place where you don't know what to expect because even me, I never even uh, understood the charts. It was the first time seeing the charts and I was like, wow, what are these? I didn't know they are called even candles. So everyone has that at the beginning. So guys, that was it. This is my dad. I'm trying to teach my dad Forex trading because why? If I know how to trade and my dad knows how to trade, we can be giving signals <laughs> we can be communicating the same language whenever I am stuck or whenever he is stuck. So this is to show you that you don't need to do Forex by yourself. Start introducing your family. Start telling your brothers, tell your sisters, introduce to your parents and start doing this Forex uh, as a family because this is a very, very very, very great business that you can do in the comfort of your house. So, guys, that being said, I don't know your last, how was the class? Was it hard? Uh, I would say that the class was very <laughs> interesting. Uh -huh. The teacher was robust. <laughs> and uh -huh. I've been fired up. Uh -huh. And I would uh, recommend uh -huh. those who would like to study uh, Forex uh -huh. to join uh -huh. Mr. Moffrey uh -huh. because she can deliver. Yeah, we can. I can deliver. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes. I know you see, so you are a child. Uh, <laughs> I've seen how far you have gone. Uh -huh. So believe me. Uh -huh. yes. So guys, you have heard from my dad. I'm telling you to make him sit here and make this video. Oh, God. oh you need to watch this video. You need to like this video. And you need to tell me, do you want to see him now doing practical? Because you need first to understand what is Forex because you before you jump in into the chat. Thank you guys for watching. I love you so much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.